Well, 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 would you look at what happened today? Chilla's done done it again. For the 18th time, they've released another masterpiece. Oh! To the standing ovation of everyone involved. Everyone's clapping. Everyone's clapping. Except for me. You see, I've been deeply nervous about Chilla's next game because I've been partially convinced I, along with every other streamer that's played one of their games, is about to be taken down, cursed perhaps, because for the last, like, couple of months, it's said on Steam that their next upcoming game is about streamers, like me. And I've been deeply worried, up until now, that Chilla's next game would be the one that finally got me, the one that drove me cuckoo crazy. Do you understand how scary it is to have a developer you deeply respect and adore, perhaps? Literally threaten to summon a warlock's curse upon you to end your very career and existence through summoning a specter into your very home? This is the first day I've breathed a sigh of relief because at the very least, I have some time to get my affairs in order now. I believe today would be the day, the day I was destroyed. But now I'm safe for some time. The streamer game does not release today because a different one released today, thank God. For now, I am free, I am safe. Are you saying that's not a streamer setup right there? Common misconception that streamers, uh, use a setup like that. Common misconception. Uh, there's not a single streamer alive who owns a filing cabinet and keeps any of their documents in any kind of organized fashion. Uh, so don't even bother. Uh, they don't use this. They kind of just throw their documents everywhere. So, yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I use a filing cabinet, but I was forced to. <laughs> I, I was forced through, like, to, through, like, extreme happenstance in my life and involving the IRS to have to organize my documents. I am not like the rest of them. I am an ascended being. The rest of them, they just throw things. Hell, I bet if you like asked any streamer to like kick their foot to the left or right of them in like a full motion, you could hear garbage like actually get knocked around. I bet you could do it. I bet every other streamer you ask that would be like, I'm, I can't, I, I don't have space. Because you know that if they fucking move their foot even a little bit to the left or right, trash. Is that shit seriously still going on? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But I'll tell you what doesn't go on around these parts. Trash on my floor. Unless you count this one empty bottle I still keep around for funny bits. Oh! But that's not trash, that's a prop. You see, you can get away with saying almost anything is a prop. <laughs> it's all props. This isn't garbage, this is a prop, you see. Don't you understand? It's not trash. It's not trash. It's a prop. Carrot Top here loves his props. Can you shut your fucking mouth? Right now? Please. <laughs> Please shut your mouth. I'm not asking, I'm, I'm begging, actually. If that helps. actually owned. Yeah, whatever. Chat, 
it will be a short stream today because as we all know I am contractually obligated to cover any Chilla's art game that releases on this platform and simultaneously by the end of it I will have lost another fraction of my life force and will be closer to death and will be unable to do another game afterwards simply due to this like the the concentration of schlock just kind of set my way <clears throat> this is how it goes this is how it always is i'm running out of time it's also saturday that is true it is saturday saturdays have slowly become my like either really long stream day or really short stream day but never anything in the middle which is ironic because usually Sundays I wake up hungover, but yet I still stream those days now like it's nothing. Lower and lower energy. I actually am awake and aware and dialed in right now. I'll have you know. I'll have you know. That's the coffee. It's a little bit of the coffee. Out of his sleepy arc? No, no, Chad. For two nights in a row, you see. <laughs> For two nights in a row, I have had now an anxiety dream, I guess, is the only thing. I can I can say that it was it was a stressful dream. I cannot go into the details. Simply because I don't really feel like it, nor can I perfectly recollect what happened in them. But have you ever had a dream where it felt like you were in there for quite literally an entire lifetime? Dude, I, w I basically... I lived lives in that dream, dude. I lived literally lives. I... Time passed, it dilated. I lived a thousand lifetimes inside of that dream, and the entire time I was getting owned, according to the amount of stress I walked out of that dream with. The entire time, pretty much back to back to back, was pretty much people running by and roundhouse kicking me and punching me in the face and owning me. And um, for two nights in a row now, I've woken up, and I've been like, sun's up, okay, it's gotta be time to get up and move. Time to get out of bed. Time to get the ball rolling for another good day. And then I walk, I go to the bathroom, I go back to my bed till I grab my phone, and I check the clock, and I, in fact, have only been sleeping for about an hour. And I swear to God, dude, the idea of going back to sleep after feeling like I truly had been sleeping for a thousand years... Two times in a row, not great. Not a great, uh, it, it really, unless you've experienced what I'm describing, I don't really know how I would. Okay, the closest thing I can explain it to is the conscious feeling of getting way too high and ha experiencing that level of diet, like when you're high and time actually dilates for you and it feels like things are taking a million years to happen but yet it's only been 30 seconds and people think you're going crazy when you keep saying, how long has it been? Is it almost over? You wouldn't know that. It's only happened to me twice in my life. But, uh... Yeah, no, I'd never go back to that kind of stuff again. I'm actually a, I, I, I'm an anxious, uh, weed guy. I get anxious when I, when I do that, when I do that devil's lettuce. It just doesn't make me happy. I can't believe my family friendly streamer did drugs. I'm sorry I let you down. Well, I'm not really that sorry. I'm sorry that you hold me to such high standards. Because you, I, as far as I'm concerned, I've never put on a... Uh, I've never really... The standards shouldn't have been that high, to be fair. Looking at the track record of things I've gone on record saying and doing, 
The standard should have been, you should have gone, oh yeah, I fucking knew it. And honestly, it pisses me off that you didn't say it sooner. He popped the bottle this stream. It's a prop! <laughs> it, when I don't have it around, people say, do the sound. Do the sound. Why do you get rid of the sound? And then when I do have it around, people go, don't do that sound again. It makes me think that you're an alcoholic. Okay, I'm moving it away. Okay, I'll take the empty bottle away from my desk. You're back. No more sound. You ruined it. Corkbit is gone. It's gone. Chilla's already destroyed his mental. A friendly reminder to everyone that real people have played these games and real people have said, and I quote, this game will drive you insane. Okay. Psychological horror. We all need to watch ourselves because there are demons around us right now. This game is going to drive us insane. Do you understand? In Zane? Who's Zane? You piss me off. The S plane has another hackbot charge. Man, when are more of my friends gonna play Hypnospace? Pissing me off every day of my life. I get mad every day. I wake up, I get angry. I can't have a day where I wake up happy because I just can think about all the ways everyone around me makes me mad. <sighs> what the heck? Force them. I can't make anyone do anything, it turns out. I don't have... The only thing I can do is say offhanded comments at friends that apparently completely rewire the entire way they perceive reality. <laughs> I, I have... have Alright, this is like... This is like... <laughs> I don't know. I can go into detail about this. It's... It's so funny, but apparently for them, it was like a world-shattering moment that to this day still comes up. At one point, when we were doing D&D &D on Pipe Dreamers, I was sitting there and Lena yawned in open mic. So I gave her shit and I was like, you know that's like the worst thing you can do like professionally before like a freaking stream on me. It's right as yawn into the microphone and throw off everyone's game. I was goofing around, but the side effect was for the next year. <laughs> Apparently I had used one of the most high concentration social hacks I had ever done in my whole life. And after that, there, there would be moments where like they would like half yawn and then mute and then come back in and apologize. And I'd be like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> I actually... I, <laughs> it took like, it took like years. It took like actually like years. <laughs> All I did was... <laughs> I... <laughs> they don't yawn anymore. They don't yawn anymore. 
No one yawns anymore. They don't yawn anymore. I'd like to apologize to dozens of the people around me for every single comment I've ever made. Because all of it has apparently been carried along with you forever as some kind of toxic growth that has rewired the way you in you you perceive yawning. <laughs> Thank you for reliving my demons. You're welcome. You made yawning rude. Ah, uh, look, chat. <laughs> it was only, it, it was only a goof. It was only a little silly, silly joke. It was only a little silly comment. I didn't realize the extent of my power. I didn't understand how far words could take someone, how far you could push someone before they snapped. Okay? I was just playing around in this space, having a little bit of fun. All it takes... <laughs> all it takes is one bad yawn. One yawn. <laughs> One bad gaslight. I didn't, dude, I didn't like go into that thinking that it would become a like fucking multi year saga that I would like find out years down the line. Okay, I didn't, I didn't like, you, you think I'm saying everything considering like the like fucking way it's going to play out in the worst case scenario of, I can't do that. But let the record show I did feel bad. And then they yawned again. And then I got mad. And then I doubled down. Then they yawned a second time. And then I got pissed off. <laughs> Talking about yawning is making me yawn, and that's why it's frankly unacceptable. And that's, and that's frankly why it's unacceptable. Tomato is a walking chilla moment. What the fuck does that mean? Time that person out <laughs> for like 30 seconds. Like, it'll give him enough time to formulate explaining that to me without any like outside, like sensory overload distracting them. Explain it. A real chilla moment incoming. <laughs> Either chilla has tomato vibes or tomato has chilla vibes, and I don't know which is which. What the fuck are you talking about? What? How could you say that to me? I don't even know. That's nothing. You said, you basically said nothing. That doesn't mean anything. No, that's something. No, it isn't. 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 Yeah, but you're incredibly insulted. I don't know if you, you I mean, like, yeah, I had the person timed out. Yeah, I had the, I had something placed on their permanent record over it. Like, yeah, I got outraged, but I wouldn't say I'm, ex like, I'm extremely insulted. Uh, I just got outraged and then got mad and then got like frothing at the mouth and then started seething. But that doesn't mean I'm like outraged. 
or anything. I mean, I, I guess that does mean I'm outraged. I'm not deeply insulted, though. What do you think about Kick? Ah, uh, well, let's see here. Uh, wildly problematic for one. A uh, terrible, uh, terrible public image. Just because they have a million billion dollars because they're backed by a gambling site doesn't make them good. Uh, they're only popular right now as a direct result of Twitch's fuck-ups. Uh, is the only reason that they have a presence here is because Twitch has fumbled the ball so many times that literally anyone could fill that spot. Look at Kick the same way I look at Mixer. <laughs> that's, that's my take right now. I could change. Websites have had their ups and downs and that could change. But right now I look at Kick the way I look at Mixer. If Mixer is backed by gambling instead of Microsoft. Mixer could have been good. Frowny face. I'm not so sure. Chat, I am of the logic that... Here's the thing. As much as I hate Kick... Well, I don't really hate Kick. As much as I don't have any interest in going to Kick... Um, I do like that it exists because anything that can fucking make Twitch look worse and then also simultaneously be like, and look at how bad we are. That's a good way to like fucking light the fire under a company is to walk up as their competitor and everyone go, wow, that's your competitor and their competitor is a clown. <laughs> that's, that's really good. I do really like that. Like, that's really good every time, is when, is when, like, Amazon's getting a fucking call, there's a new competitor in town against your big streaming service, and they go, what? Who? And it's a fucking clown in clown shoes making honking sounds on the side of the road. Like, I do really like that. <laughs> because I'm not compelled to go over there. Right. Like, if I was going to go to a competitor, I'd go to YouTube because YouTube's not going anywhere. Kick could literally disappear next year. You want to know why streamers are making like big contract signings to go to fucking kick in exclusivity? Because there is a solid chance they're going to get their bag, literally get to leave in a year and come back to zero loss. Ninja still hasn't fully recovered from his mixture stint. Why would he want to fully recover? Chat. <laughs> Listen. Unless you're wildly obsessed with the idea of fame, he probably wasn't very fucking happy being as popular as he was. There's a level, there's a threshold of popularity on the internet where you are getting dumpstered by people simply for having it. And that can't be a very happy or fun place to be in, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, it really can't be. I would literally long for the days of not having that once I had that. Why would he still stream? You can find enjoyment in the thing that also made you a lot of money as well, chat. A lot of people don't understand that streaming, you typically start out of fun. Same with YouTube. That Those are things that started for most people as a hobby for enjoyment, not a job. So like, for them it's also a, oh, this is a fun thing that I used to do like for fun before it was something I would do for deliberately my exclusive income, right? Nuh uh it's all about the money. True, though. I refuse to believe anyone regularly engages with this community for fun. <laughs> True, dude. True. You whine a lot. Nah, I don't drink wine, man. I think wine's bad.
But if we if we loop around to considering it from the uh, non typoed version of I whine a lot. I'm not really sure at which point I was whining there. I was actually just talking about someone else entirely. So I'm not sure where you are, but surely you must be at some other point in the VOD and somehow still typing into the chat. At one of the other parts where I definitely whined a lot about something. At what point do you admit you get one guy daily at least once? I've always known that. That's not something I need to admit. Chat, some of the most fun I have on this stream is reading one guy's fucking psycho comment. Dude, come on. <laughs> what the hell would I want to like read every time the fucking collective take? Chilla one guide tomato. Chilla got one guide by tomato. I would say Chilla one. I would say Chilla's gotten in my head to the point where they are the developer one guy that pisses me the fuck off. I I don't think I can ever get out of there. Actually, onion slurper. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Damn, I could go for some French onion soup right now. Holy shit! What the fuck? Damn, man. French onion sucks. Parentheses never had it. I hate people like you. I hate people like you. I can't stand you. Hey, I did not mean it. I found your channel back in the Barrow Trauma years. What did you say? What'd you do? I don't know what the context of this is. What'd you do? Can I just say I am so genuinely sorry? What did you do? Oh, they were the one guy. Their one guy message isn't in my logs. So I just saw two, two like super apologetic messages with nothing attached. What the fuck did you do? It's okay. I forgive you. Do you have a streamer dent? No, I don't have any dents. Chad, I hate wearing like normal headphones, like over my skull. I use like earbuds for everything. I just don't like having, I don't have like, I don't like having hair dents from headphones. I definitely have a dent, I'm crying. Jeez. It doesn't it suck to like actually see that that like those fucking projections of like what gamers are going to be like in 40 years you are that like you're getting there like you are part of the progression that's going to be shown on like the like you know chimp to mankind scale you know what i mean like doesn't it suck to know you're in the middle <laughs> you're like you're part of the curve when you have a gamer tent <laughs> Like, like you're not there, but you're like, you're you're in that fucking curve. <laughs> it's like the anamorph situation, you know. It's like, <laughs> Katie. I don't know. I don't mean you literally. I'm just saying that, like, if you have a, like a fucking gamer dent, you are mid morph. Come on, if you don't time out people on a whim when I need you to, then I'll, then, uh, then what will I do?
I'm waiting. Wait, what are you waiting for? Say you're sorry. Uh oh. Sorry. We got there. There it is. Sigh, dot, 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 dot. He did it to Lena, now Katie. All I do is just say little things. <laughs> All I do is just say little things and and then they just they they just they get away from me, okay? Who's next in his rampage? I can literally go down the line of friends and things I've said to them that actually fucking made them. <laughs> <laughs> Just made them go fucking cuckoo crazy. Dude, I gotta be careful what fucking messages I read verbatim from Katie because then I'm gonna get like fucking clipped out of context saying them and then I'm gonna get owned and I'm not gonna get owned. Not that easily. I'm not gonna get owned that easy. You laughed though, I did laugh. But I can't just, I can't just be grabbed out of context like that anymore. <laughs> I just, I just can't. I'm like walking through a landmine field every day now. Cause I read, t I'm like, I don't, I, I read messages from chat and then everyone goes, why did you read that? I'm like, cause I thought it'd be funny if I said it. <laughs> but then when I like think about it, like a, after the stream, I'm like, that was bad. That was a bad scene. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have read that one out. Because it's no longer the chat member's message. I said it. <laughs> it doesn't matter who, who fucking wrote it. I was the voice that spoke it. And now it's also I hold ownership over the fucking horrible thing that was said. Unless I add their name to the beginning. I'd have to get, oh, but then I'd have to give credit. Mm. No, 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 no. I don't think that's happening. Yeah, I'd rather be fully deplatformed for a chat message I read out without giving credit than actually give credit to someone for a chat message I read out and lose some of the momentum of reading it to begin with. I think. Yes, yes. I think that's fair. League changed you. That was a, yeah, no, that was a social hack. League changed you was absolutely a social hack. That one was one of the ones I know got, but like Sam gets what's coming to him in a way that none of my other friends will ever really understand. Like that dude has fucking absolutely convinced me that I stole his VR headset. So like he gets what's fucking coming to him. Literally the day I bought a Aztec death whistle, he was like, my cousin died after they bought one of those heads up. Like with a straight face and then didn't talk to me again for the rest of the day. So it's like, what do you fucking want me to do? We've been at war for years. There's a war going on between all of our people. There will be no peace. Uh, 
I haven't played it in a while, but is Dread Hunger still getting updates? I'm glad you asked me. Hang on, let me go to Google and look it up for you. Beep 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 boop 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 beep 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 boop beep boop beep boop Maybe. There you go. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't use Google. So it didn't give me the ideal search terms. But I did type it in. I only use Yahoo, guys, because it's fun. What would you rather freaking yell, Google or Yahoo as you as you search something? Me, I know what I want. Come on, use ChatGPT. I have never used ChatGPT. I may never use ChatGPT. <laughs> Because I am not a, I'm not a kid in high school trying to skip out on writing an essay. I don't, I don't need it for anything, actually, really. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it's also truthful. Or a lawyer. Oh. I mean, here's the thing, though. In the case of that lawyer thing, did that immediately enable the, like, defendant that lawyer was representing to call for, like, a mistrial and get the fuck out of there and get a new lawyer? Because, like, I feel like that immediately disqualifies the entire representation of that lawyer. Like, that, that is an immediate, like, oh, yeah, uh, I need everything redone because this dude is a fucking fraud. Did the lawyer lose their job? I mean, I should fucking hope so. There's not many excuses for phoning it in that hard in something that's like that ex I mean, lawyers are fucking expensive, chat. Take it from me. <laughs> Take it from me. I have I have had to pay lawyers for my IRS bullshit, and I'll tell you what. I've had them call me and leave a message. And that message cost me $200. God forbid I had answered. That would have been 500. I know because I ch they gave me an itemized breakdown. Legal representation is not a joke. <laughs> so if I found out my lawyer was using chat GPT to formulate their responses, Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I had an itemized breakdown last night. <laughs> Bro, hell yeah, dude. Are you okay? You, are you good? Bro, they should owe me money if they use ChatGPT. He said no. Oh. Well, at least it's itemized instead of like a full breakdown. You know, at least it's itemized and like fixated on certain things. You know, think about it positives. Think about the positives, bro. I once had a flat fee attorney. I'd rather have the itemized bill. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, flat fee is, like, suspicious as fuck, actually. Like, at least with the itemized thing, everything was, like, very clearly, like, oh, you, this cost exactly this much, and this cost this much because it took this long, and they, like, were timing everything, and it all did, like, add up and check out. So, like, I at least knew that, like, I wasn't, they didn't just, like, fucking tack on a shit ton of insane things that didn't exist. 
But yeah, no, it's all made up bullshit. Lawyers are a total fucking scam, but the problem is you need them to do anything. So, uh, they get to, they get to charge that much because, well, you need them to do anything. People be like, just get a lawyer. Yeah, it's... <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts. Just self-represent. Dude, imagine. Imagine self-representing. I'm sure that goes well. I didn't do it. That was 24-year-old me that did that thing. My brain wasn't fully finished developing until I was 25. I cannot. That wasn't me. I'm literally a different person. It was a different time. Same cells, though? Yeah, but all those cells are... No, 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 you can't prove that. You actually can't prove that. You can't prove that. You can't prove that. You can't prove that. You can't prove that. You, I, you really can't prove that. <laughs> Your Honor, right now I'm clenching as hard as I can and evicting all of the bad cells that did the crime from my body. They're already being punished. We have no need to follow through with the rest of this kangaroo court bullshit, you see. <laughs> Judges hate this one tactic. <laughs> they can't stand it. <laughs> Chat, has he gripped it? Of course I fucking gripped it. And I ripped it. Did I do that at the beginning of the stream? You think I'm gonna grip it and rip it 46 minutes in? I'll have a freaking heart attack from all the caffeine. I'll die. And I put the other prop away, so I don't even bother asking. All right, because I guess chat hates sound effects. They hate them. Where's the hurdy-gurdy? I put it in my crawl space to see if the creature that lives in there will learn how to play it better than I ever could. It's in there now. Go on then, little creature. Nah, I'd never put it in there. <laughs> but I wish I could. Tomato, my wife is asking when you'll play Minecraft again. I'm embarrassed. Huh. You're blaming your wife? You're throwing your wife under the bus for that one? I mean... Probably in the next, like, uh... Like, maybe two months or three months? Argue, 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 fight, fight, fight is just someone, what someone just, that, why does that message make me, like, more upset than anything I've read all week? <laughs> Jolly ever does. <laughs> Dude, this one kind of fucks, TBH, said Boone earlier. Boone, is this a good chiller game? 
How long does it run? Like two hours? Hour and a half. We love those. Maybe less. We love those even more. If there's one thing I know about Chilla games, it's that I will be out of energy to even continue to play it after about a half an hour, and the rest of it is just kind of me stumbling forward. I'm not gonna say, I don't know why, I don't know what Goblin Time Wizard did to be banned, but I'm gonna say one thing for sure, all right, with a name like that. I don't know how I feel about them being back in this chat. There's something off about it. Goblin Time Wizard. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing. <coughs> they were they 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 got hit they got taken down and exiled to the shadow realm for nothing. I'm having an off day. It's okay. We all have off days. I didn't notice and I clicked it. Well, chat. Watch yourselves. <laughs> I, for one, support all of the moderation actions of my mod team. Even the ones they do when they're barely cognizant of the actions they're taking, because sometimes the subconscious can pilot your body better than you can. Watch your back. You have no idea when you might catch the hammer. Didn't support Boone, what the fuck? That dude literally went on a rampage. Like a, an actual rampage. That dude went on a rampage. And I don't say that lightly. That is, that is the actual term for it. A rampage. Somebody had to. No, boom. <laughs> no, no. Woo! I have sneezed so many times in a row. Holy heck. No one could hear it, but it happened. In your darkest hour of cock, I will be the... <laughs> you see, in it, 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 when I go into like my friends' logs and like a thousand years out of curiosity, like in a conversation on a stream for like a bit or something, I'm gonna have to see that message again and be really confused. A friend chat audit will come someday, and when it does. I, I pray for some of you. Joe is fucked. Dude, I actually don't think I could go to Joe's chat logs. No, I actually really don't think I could go do it. I think of all of my friends, Joe says genuinely some of the most heinous shit in my chat. And he just gets away with it. He literally gets away with it. Like, he uses my chat as, like, a dumping ground for his most nasty fucking jokes, and then he pisses off. Because he can. He has no fucking shame. Who's going to stop him? Chat, the problem is, if I read Joe's message live, then I would actually be, I'd be giving it a platform. So all I can do is a clock that it was said and then pray to God both no one sees it and the messages in the chat scroll fast enough that it is buried again before anything else brings attention to it. 
Because any other option, he wins. He gets away with it. And I can't let him get away with it. It's free content, though. You're right. You're right. It, it is free content. And everyone knows one thing I love is just totally cashing out on my friends and the people around me and remaining just as creatively bankrupt as possible as a direct result. Never really looking deeper into myself to improve as a person, but instead using the people around me like like tools to further my own brand. It's so easy. Rungs on a ladder so I can climb higher and higher still. I think Tomato is a Huey tier character from The Boys. What the fuck did you just say? Did you just call me Huey? Did you just Huey me? <laughs> you're telling me, you're telling me I'm a Huey tier character? I mean, here's the thing. If you're gonna say, no, 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 no. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take control of this. I'm grabbing this. I'm gonna grab this for a second. I'm gonna turn it around. Everyone else in the boys is for the most part so beyond fucked that really calling me anyone but Huey would actually stunlock me worse and make me look even deeper into the darkness within myself and feel even worse in the long run. So, honestly, you complimented me, bozo. Get fucked, Huey kills people. I'm pretty sure everyone gets killed or kills people in that show. Okay. He wishes he was Homelander tier. I'm pretty sure no one does. I'm pretty sure no one wants that. Pretty sure no one wants that. Oh my god. People, people are getting a little sp spicy today, though, chat. I've seen some of the cruelest messages posted in this chat just this very day. <laughs> Why? What happened? What happened to all of you? What's going on? <laughs> it's a chilla stream. Oh, no. You think? You think it's just that it's chilla day? It's Father's Day. No, it fucking isn't. Father's Day is tomorrow. You think I'd forget? Dude, I'm I I I, I don't forget those things, alright? Because I'm I'm relentlessly advertised to about these days, okay? It's not I don't need to remember the day. I'm advertised enough online about the day that of course I know what the day is. Of course I know. Amazon won't leave me alone. I love my parents. <laughs> I hate that that conversation with Dave. Just now, now it like now it in hindsight it pisses me off because I feel like I constantly have to reiterate that I love my parents, like all the time now because or else I feel like a fucking like a monster. Dave gaslit you? Yeah, but like, here's the thing. The amount of times that my friends are able to gaslight me is so small compared to the amount of times I literally hack every part of their life that like, I, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. Like, I feel like I deserve it. Like, I deserve, when someone is able to get in my fucking head, like that, that, honestly, honestly, yeah, get it. Fine, whatever. Let them have their moment. I'll be back, dude. Though I will always regret the yawn bit. 
<laughs> I, I don't think... I think if I had to go on record and say there was ever a gaslight joke that I regretted the most, it was uh, making Lena believe that yawning was uh, an unacceptable crime. Uh, that one, I think I will, I will walk away. <laughs> Actually traumatized her. I, how could I have known? How could I, Judy, how could I have known? How could I have possibly known that my words had consequences? I had never, no one had ever, it had never happened like that before. How was it not obvious? I was just having, I was just being a little silly guy. I was just, I was just saying things that came to my head and seeing what kind of reaction I got. Is that so bad? Is it so bad to push people's buttons a little bit? You know, make people eat a freaking frozen egg <laughs> off of their own joke <laughs> that they made. <laughs> I'm leaving. It's cool, it's cool. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. It's fine, it's fine. Although that one was always one that like, that one always tickled me the most because it really was a joke you brought to the table. You brought the frozen egg joke to the table and somehow you ended up having to participate in your joke while we all watched, which is <laughs> with the double down on your own joke. <laughs> That's, that was wild. We all yawned before the incident. See, now it's like if people don't yawn around me, I feel like it's out of fear. And now it's like, well, fucking yawn already. Yawn already. God damn it. Dude, I'm chill. I'm chill. I don't just like freak out and scream at people and like go all psycho mode all the time. I'm chill. I've changed. I've entered my primordial being of this website arc, and as a result, I don't, I, I don't bring that kind of energy anymore. Just proof that Juni is way harder than soft tomato. What the fuck are you talking? Because I didn't eat a frozen egg and a nasty egg, and then bugs. I'm not sure that means anything. Dude, I'm gonna go on record and say that literally every single time I've been in a call with Junie, they've blubbered or cried. They've gone like, <laughs> they do that every time, all right? Every time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> We had to. I have to push everyone away. I have to push everyone away. Actually, worst friend. Oh man, do I just. I'm literally blubber. Do I just like make a like a big sweeping apology video where I just explain everything away as like some kind of like that wasn't me? Can I do the can I can I get on like a fucking like camera on a big stage in front of a lot of people that I don't know and explain that I've officially evicted all of the cells from my body that existed at the time of me saying these comments and therefore it was not me? Is that how I get it? Cause I've done like, I, I, I've taken a lot of swings today. I think in a lot of people. Can't wait for the twit longer. I don't think anyone cares about that. I think you really have to make a real, you gotta send a real message now when you make an apology. 
That literally wasn't me. <laughs> All of my cells have been completely swapped out as of this point. My inbox is open. Uh, I'm busy, unfortunately. Um, right now, you see, I'm like, I'm, I'm working right now. So, uh, I, I might be able to loop around later. <laughs> what do you want me to, like, type an apology to someone? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know if any of you ever heard me try to, like, type anything while I'm, like, working. But, um, I'd have to stop talking. Okay, what if I just, what if we just write, what if I write it out loud? Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah, chat GPT. Hang on. Chat GPT, I'll finally use it. This will save me a lot of time. Do I have to, like, actually get an account, though? Oh, fuck. I have to get an account for this shit? Make it genuine, you sick fuck. Can I, like, can I, like, just say it out loud here? Or do I really have to fucking type an apology in writing? Both. It's gonna be so hard to make it genuine when every time I say a word, someone's gonna say, Oh, Megalol Gaslight. Or, like, Oh, Megalol Moron. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I hereby apologize for claiming that Juniper would blubber and cry in every call I've ever been in with them. That was an exaggeration. And false. It was more of like a whimper. More so than anything. It was never full on blubbering. That was wrong and is unfair. But I will not be silenced! I swear to God! Every time there was at least a whimper. Every time! But I do apologize for using the wrong words because words do have power. Thank you for understanding. I will be taking some time to think about my actions and consult God, Jesus Christ, amen. I will be back and I'm going to leave my stream live with donations active and subscriptions on up until that point. Here I go. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. I changed. <laughs> All I'm back. I'm I'm ready, I'm ready to stream again. I did a lot of learning. I, it actually was really hard. In the last, like, 15 seconds, I was considering all the different ways I could double down even harder. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if I have the energy. <laughs> I don't know if I have the energy to keep this bit up for another second. I think it's over. <laughs> the, bit, the, bit, the bit's over. But I still have another 20 minutes I want to stall before Chilla because I'd like this to be a three-hour stream. And Boone was saying it'd be about an hour and a half. 
dude, just play badly, I could stall pretty hard. I could stall really hard. But that's Boon speed, though. He does speed run. He actually goes way faster than I do in games, to be fair. That dude... That dude, I, like, caught a little bit of him playing fucking Layers of Fear. And I was, like, looking at it, and I was like, that looks way different than, um... Like, the Layers of Fear I remember. Like, surely he's in a spot that I've never been to. Like, that's cool. So it's, it's a, like, a pretty unique, like, different twist on Layers of Fear and everything. And I never got to that part. <laughs> I never got to that part, and I checked how long he'd been playing, and it said, like, two hours. What, he skip all the lore? That's sicko. He's not well. Alright, fuck it. You know what? If it ends up being a two and a half hour stream, we don't want to burn all of my energy in an intro anyways, because if I don't fucking get through all the Chilla game, then what the hell was the point of it all? You know? This is- it's- customary that we do a two and a half or so hour stream of a chiller game and then we walk away and proceed to spiral mentally for the next you know night and a half he's literally exhausted now i'm sweating <laughs> i don't think i've I, I i don't think i've been so exhausted by the amount of energy that i had to match in my chat before today i don't know what the heck's going on i don't know if like saturn's fucking like dripping or some shit, but, like, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. And as, like, a Virgo? I'm not sure I deserve this crap. <laughs> as a Virgo myself? Can someone let me know if my horoscope said I was supposed to get owned today? Fellow astrologists, can someone let me know if I was supposed to get owned? Virgos get owned every day. I'm going to need something a little bit more relatable to me here. That's more like astrology. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. June 17th, 2023, a quest is in store for you, Virgo. Oh my, you're likely to engage in a search for physical or intellectual space. You may be asking yourself philosophical questions or perhaps you're thinking of taking a long trip. I did take a long trip. I did go on a quest today. I went on a quest introspectively to Jesus Christ, amen, to apologize for the many things, the many horrible things I said and did. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alternatively, if none of that had happened, I could have said, Oh my god, I am going on a quest today. I'm playing a fucking chiller game. <laughs> I'm playing a chiller game today. Of course I'm going on a quest. Like, these things, these fucking... These goddamn horoscopes, you can... Everyone can say they went on a quest to do some bullshit, and they thought for a minute about, like, something in their head. This is more of an ordeal. Huh. I think this is more of like an ordeal, like a, like a trial. I don't know. I feel like honestly, I'm constantly on trial for something and like, I don't really think I deserve it. I don't think I deserve to like the amount of energy that people bring to me. Yes, you do. What the fuck is wrong with you? Katie, come on. You gotta... You gotta support me now of all times. I connected to Jesus Christ. I literally left and prayed to God. Your apology to me sucked. I'm sorry, Katie. Is that better? Or is it the fact that I... Is, was it the fact that immediately after I said that, I didn't wait less than a second before saying, was that better? <laughs> or was it the part where I just clocked on that right now and started laughing? Are these things all things that kind of come together to make it harder to, like, accept an apology? Huh. 
My streamer is so genuine right now. What can I say? What can I say? What's up, Brett and Octo? I saw you two in the chat. How are you doing in voice box too? Everyone's here. They're all here. Does anyone have any shit they want to unload on me that I like did that wronged them in the past? Because honestly, it's like a day for it. You got any things you want to tell me? Any ways that I... That... <laughs> that that I owned you? Yeah, I'm waiting for my apology. Can- See, this is like awkward, but can we like get into like some details as to like what I did? What did I- but what did I do? What did I do? Specifically, cause like... I just need to- I need the exact detail- or I could just guess? <laughs> I don't know, something probably I don't remember. I could guess, I could just shoot some shots into the dark. Yeah, go, guess. <sighs> I'm sorry we haven't had time to play Satisfactory yet, Brett. I really want to really badly. I'm just, I just, it, it's so freaking hard to coordinate time to play Satisfactory. Plus, it's getting a new update soon, so maybe once the update's out, we play Satisfactory, Brett. Yeah. Update eight is out. I thought I saw an, I thought I saw a post like today that like the experimental one is out. All of his friends are here cashing in. Go on, everyone. <laughs> everyone take a piece. Tomato said he would play and then ghosted me. Which game? Is it the one I think it is? Voice box. Say its fucking name. Say the name of the fucking game. Go on then. Say it. Don't die of cringe. Get back up. Say it. Get up now. Vintage story coward. In my defense, voice box, every time up until the last time I played it, I wanted to play it alone because I was not very well informed in the game and wanted to experience it solo. However, after my most recent owning, I would love to play Vintage Story with you again. As soon as I'm done processing the literally like truckload of frustration and anger I still have in my heart for that game after how massive the L was that it delivered right onto my doorstep last time I played. Do you understand? The Flax incident really got me, dude. And frankly, I don't know if I can just go back now. I'll accept your apology on behalf of Voicebox. Thanks, Brett. I'm glad at least one of my friends, one of my friends is actually like accepting the apology I gave them and moving on with their life. Thanks. One of them. <laughs> okay, but are you going to change your behavior? No, never. <laughs> I won't be doing that. I don't think so. He's literally not sorry. I've said the words. <laughs> I, I've said the words. I said everything I had to. What's wrong? He can't stop doubling down. But how have you changed for the streamer? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I should be getting some apologies. You know, let's make this a collaborative thing. <clears throat> yes. Lock the door, nobody leaves. Thank you, Baron. I'm sorry I killed the bomb next session. What? <laughs> uh, 
appreciate that, man. I'm <clears throat> not really sure um how uh, elevator accident? Is it an elevator accident? Nothing that could have been done. The elevator finally gave out, man. Damn. Elevator wins. We've stalled enough, dude. It's over. It's over. Dude, I actually feel fucking physically tired. Which is an energy after an intro that I don't think I've gotten to in a long time. I don't feel well. I mean, I can stream, and I will stream, and god damn it, Chilla, I will not let you down. I will show your game off just as I have all of the others with the same level of energy and hatred, and just, just a lot of hatred, uh, as all the others. I will. But, my tummy kind of hunky. <laughs> My tummy kind of grumbling. Uh, maybe I didn't eat. Uh, I've been eating. Dude, my fucking morning routine has always been a coffee. No, a double shot of espresso. I don't do whole coffee usually. Double shot of espresso. Oats and honey bar. Like two of them. As in like one package of an oats and honey bar with two of the, like the small bars in them. And a protein drink. For some reason recently... My oats and honey bars. No wonder your blood pressure is always 200 over 14. They're, no, what are you talking about? All the shit's super low in fucking sodium. Chad, I eat a pretty good diet in the grand scheme, but I don't need a big fucking breakfast. <laughs> I definitely don't need a big breakfast. Big breakfast is how I end up tired and lethargic and irritable, but mainly tired. But, for some reason, the, the recipe or some bullshit for this newest gigantic pack of oats and honey bars I bought is, like, all airy. Does that make sense? It's, like, it's not as hard as it's supposed to be. It's, like, crumbling too easily. The consistency of it is off. And I swear to God, it, it's actually got, like, more air in it than, than the old bars from, like, a year ago. And I'm... It's like I actually feel like I'm getting less calories in my breakfast now, and it's kind of pissing me off. I think I got like a bad batch. I think I actually have a bad batch. But the problem is I buy my shit from fucking Costco. So my bad batch is the next half of a year of my life. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be living Bad Batch style for the next half of my year. So this is me. What you, what you're seeing right now is it. Until the next, well, at least the next fiscal quarter. This husk thing? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you say it like that? All right, I would play the video game. That's it. This husk thing. <laughs> this thing, this loathsome thing. The husk. How could you... <laughs> Be nice to me, please. Dude. I'm defenseless. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't realize it's one of those games you had to click on. You're okay. Wake up! Okay, wake up. Night security. Now, I know for a fact Boone came in and actually said this one was good. Which is baffling. Hang on, can I check? I want to check the track record of Chilla's last couple games. I feel like this is important when we play a Chilla game. Their last game before this was... Specifically... Karaoke. Right? It was the game where you had to sing. That was karaoke. That one... 
was good. I thought karaoke was good. Not great. Good. Before that was, wasn't it the spa one? Wasn't that the one with the, the monkeys? The bathhouse. Bathhouse one was bad. I hated bathhouse. I thought bathhouse was bad. The only thing that got me through it was the monkeys. Was the little chimps crawling around. I thought they were the best part of that game. Uh, the, and then there was fucking Closing Shift. Closing Shift was the best game they've made since Convenience Store. And everything before Closing Shift is truly so unremarkable that I cannot remember it. So, I'm hoping this lands closer to Convenience Store and Closing Shift. Still stalling. Shut up now! Ooh, is that a VHS? Whoa! Oh no, now I'm thinking of that fucking movie again. Hang on, I can I can actually recreate most of the shots from that movie. Hang on. Just... So for the next like 12 minutes, I'm just gonna be staring at this corner. I'm gonna make sounds of like a Okay, now I do another one, like, here. Ow! I fell! Okay. <laughs> Whenever I slam my desk really hard, I turn on sound effects by accident. Actually, that probably would have been more accurate to the movie. Hang on, can I turn off the- I- chat? I'm a VHS effect hater, I think. Um, I think I actually hate VHS effects in my streams. They chew up bitrate, which, by the way, don't say you'll get destroyed. Uh... Okay. Okay, yeah, this looks a lot better. This looks way better. Here we have, uh, what is this? What am, am I just looking at my dude's loose food that he, like, he, he finished, like, some, like, a lovely, like, sushi meal or something, like, and then there's a full, an, a, an entire platter of something else just sitting on the table, whatever. Wow, look at that, look at that beautiful vista. Curry. Damn, man. Hell yeah. Legos are epic, man. I freaking love Legos. Wait, no, I just, no, I gotta walk that back. I hate Legos. I like Bionicles. I was just saying stuff that would make me seem more relatable right there, but I have to stand by my beliefs. He admitted it? Nah. I was just saying it for a second because I thought I was in relatable mode, but I don't want to be relatable on that. Huh. Oh! <laughs> My dude's turning seven years old! Cool! Alright, great. That's good for them. Happy birthday, man. Where do I go now? Wake up. Hey, wake up. Yo, your eyes are fucking open. Don't ignore me. You think I can't see you awake? What? I, I can see their eyes open. Their eyes are open. Hey. Good. Good. Kid? 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 Alright. They're just tuckered out. I mean, now I'm like... <laughs> 
Oh. Is it? That's. Yep. That's a small fucking bathroom. Chill is doing this new thing in this game where there's a lot of like looking at things and it shows you just like a low angle of that thing, but like I could already see it. I knew that was laundry. I knew from the start. Ah, uh, yes. It's the 23rd. Happy birthday. We, we did it. We made it. Now what the fuck do I do? Happy birthday, tomato. Thank you, thank you. Every day. I wither a little bit more. Is everyone just awake staring at the walls pretending they don't hear me? Hey. What the? They hate me! Oh. They hate me! What the fuck? They hate me! No one even said bye to me! Is it because I blast a bugle into their ears that they don't react to me? Barefoot. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, you're kind of right. It sounded like my feet were slapping against the pavement the whole time. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 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 night security. It's not it's not like anyone's gonna be there to check it out. Average married parent POV. Just kind of flopping my 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 feet around. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get to work, all right? Big day today. Big day today. Big day today. It's a huge day. The surveillance room is on the right. I should check my job. Hello? <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? What did you mean? Are you guys, like, seeing something I'm not seeing? Wait, what do you mean you all saw a ghost? What, that guy? What do you mean? There's someone in the building. Oh, I guess we don't want to check that. Huh. Alright, well. Dude, there is someone in the building. Why is my guy- Why is my guy not checking this? I, he doesn't care. Socially hacked. Am I getting hacked? The hands of the clock point to midnight. Stop. Okay. Well, good news is... It looks like we have over there a, a nice... Dude, honestly, when I first looked at that, it looked like a half-life healing station. Am I crazy? I thought I had a half-life healing station. I could plug my HEV suit into that. Check the fire alarms in the back of the rooms and lock the doors. Turn off the lights in the bathroom. If people are still present, send them home. Okay. I lost contact with Keigo Ochigi, who used to be a security guard for this building. He probably quit. I'm going to rely on you from now on. This company apparently has a rule prohibiting any overtime work past midnight. Check the clock. Surveillance monitor and security details before making your rounds. Best, best regards from Manager Yamamoto. Looks like some people are still here. For now, I should go around and lock the doors, starting from the first floor. Yeah, let me start locking the doors rather than have them all leave first. Yeah, dude. Classic security guard behavior. Let me inconvenience them as hard as possible right now. All right, I'm going to start sealing the ways out. can't. Alright. Well, I've been hearing, like, the sound of banging from over here, so I know there's someone over here. Hello? Hello? Hey. 
Hey, you can't, you, 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 it's midnight. You can't be in here, man. You gotta get out of here. Hey. Oh, you're the new security guard. Is it time already? I guess I'll force the rest of my subordinates. The rest on my subordinates tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Okay, bye. Get out. Get the fuck out. Go on. Rest of the way. I already locked the door, so now I gotta walk you all the way back over. So I can get you out of the building. Dude, that only goes upstairs. What? That sign says it's an exit, but that stairwell has only ever gone upstairs. There's no exit on the bottom floor for that stairwell. There's actually one... There's only one exit in the entire building. It's this one. We, uh... We sealed over all of the others with, uh, bricks. Because, um, people kept sneaking in and out of the building outside of work hours. So it's all... Locked down now. Funneled. Where the hell are the rest of them? Hello? Oh. Let's lock the room first. Okay. So it looks like I gotta lock these... I haven't finished patrolling yet. Will you tell me there's still someone in here? Hello? Hello? Anyone, uh, in any of the... Is there anyone in the bathrooms, or...? <sighs> anyone in here? Okay. This place is a ghost town. Technically, I didn't open this door, but it goes to the same place. That was all this shit. Can I just lock it? I haven't finished patrolling. I, I swear to God, is there like something I'm missing on this camera? I didn't see another person anywhere. Looks like there are people still here. Where? Which one of them? Am I a nitwit? This is how I this is how I pad out the rest of the stream is by not being able to find the like the person like cowering in the corner. That's the second time I've heard someone jostle a bucket. I'm going over there. That's it. Hello? I'm checking everything. Lights off! We're turning off the lights in the bathroom now. Lights off. Is that the rain? The rain! Alright, well this place is a- No abnormality. Okay. Dude, there's actually so- I can smell someone inside this building still, but I can't locate them? Oh, now I can. I guess I had to like walk through the room harder. Alright. What? Yeah, dude. Chat, it's extremely common that a security guard can- well, it's basically smell anyone inside of a building. How the hell are you supposed to catch someone that's sneaking around if you don't have an extremely powerful, you know, sniffer? You know what I mean? This is normal. This is all normal. No abnormality. Everything's good. Let's roll. Sorry, I had to sneeze <laughs> again. Oh, 
My nose isn't as good as it used to be. I'm not as strong as I once was anymore. Yawn. Did someone just type in the word yawn in my goddamn chat? You typed it? Hang on. Focus up. There's a demon outside. Hang on, everyone focus up. There's a demon. Oh. Job's done. Dude, honestly, I think more workplaces need to encourage their employees to work harder by giving fun little jingles when you do a job well done. Like a ding ding. Every single time you get some. Hello? Some people are still here. Do I have to go to the... Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm going up to the next floor now. And I'm turning off the radio. Alright, yeah, we're going up to the second floor. Why the hell? Chad, I locked every door. Every single door in this hall is locked. What the fuck just closed and opened? The bathroom? Oh? Huh. Alright, well, these will close automatically and I'll know those closed automatically when I hear them. My door. What do you think, my door's haunted? Damn, that's stupid. <laughs> That's not a, that, that doesn't make no sense at all, man. I stepped back because I thought there was going to be someone in there who was going to jump at me and go, like, yeah! You know what I mean? <laughs> it was nothing. He's so jumpy. I'm actually, like, not jumpy at all. I don't think Chilla games make me jumpy. I'll tell you what makes me jumpy, though. Elgato appearing on my screen. That makes me jumpy. The... The grim reminder that at any moment this PC could blue screen. The grim reminder... Of the world we live in right now. Anyone in here? What? Who? Uh, what do you want? Oh, the security guard? Can you please leave the lights on? I'll turn them off. Yeah, you got it. What the fuck? Give me the choice, dude. It's a, the game says two things on its Steam page. It says one, multiple endings, and two, the game will drive me insane. And I'll tell you what, I'd be going a lot more insane if I could turn off this freaking light right now. I can. I'll tell you that. All right. Huh. Anyone in here? It's closing time. It's midnight. You know what? You know how this works. We don't pay overtime. Get out. Go on. Go on now. What the? Okay. Don't know what the heck that TV's on for, considering there's no, uh, wire or plug or outlet. Matter of fact, uh, there is no outlets. There's no electricity on this floor, aside from the lights. None of these... None of these computers have ever turned on. That's why there's so much paper around. They have to use paper. They write things here. The computers are... They're... 
Just so uh, when the investors walk around, we have something to show them. Uh, okay, uh... Hey. Hey. It's midnight. It's time to go home. Psh, psh, psh. I spray him with the spray bottle. Get out! Go on now, get... What is it? Oh, are you perhaps... Hmm... You're cool. Let's exchange contact information. Wow. I can't leave unless you give me your contact information. Am I getting scammed? Wait, wait, that, I don't like, that, that, that one sounds, that, that line makes me feel like I'm somehow gonna, like, get my identity stolen. I can't leave unless you give me your contact information. I promise you won't regret it, heart. Haha, <laughs> you better not ignore me, heart. Goodbye, heart. Okay. Weird. Weird. It's, uh... It's weird how they refused to even leave the building until I gave them my phone number. That was honestly unacceptable. I was, uh... I was... I didn't like the way they kept saying heart out loud like some kind of... Freak, dude. He wasn't a big fan of that. The ladies love security guards. I'm a married man. I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm a married man. Throws out. Oh, wait, I gave them my contact information. Shit. Why didn't they just give me theirs so I could throw it out? That would have simplified things. Uh-oh. I, I bet I gave them my- I bet I'm like a doofus and I gave them my home phone number. <laughs> well, this floor is done. <laughs> I gave that girl my fucking landline, dude. <laughs> okay. Surely you gave her a fake number. Surely. No doubt in a million years. Elgato, chill. Ah, uh, yes. The third floor. Why is there not, dude? We gotta get, like, an intercom so I can just go on the intercom and just literally just go, Get the fuck out of here! Everyone, get the fuck out! It's closing time. Big night. Get out. And just call it a day. Like, why do I have to do this shit? Like, I feel like if anyone talked to me on the intercom, it was like, Hey, you, third floor? I see you. Look up at the corner, the corner camera. Yeah, you. Take the elevator down. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I don't have all night. I got bad knees. Do not make me climb the stairs. Do it really easy, simple, out of the way. You know? Hello? This room's got, like, that advanced darkness. Who's moving chairs over there? Stop that! You know that? You're gonna scratch the freaking. You're gonna scratch the damn ground! You keep moving them like that! Pick it up off of the ground! Hello? Oh, this must be where the interns hang out. The fucking storage room. What were they doing in here? What were they doing? Chilla. Let me peek into your world, Chilla. What kind of story are you telling us today? Oh my god. Dude, 
This game is making me literally go insane. Psycho. Anyone in the bathrooms? You gotta tell me. All right, lights going. Why did you turn the lights off? Didn't I ask you to leave them on? Yo, we on floor three. You asked me to do that on floor two. Who the hell's in that room? I'm just gonna turn the light back on. I'm not gonna fucking check. Why the hell? Bad ending. Bad ending. Bad ending. That's bad ending. Right now, we are at the fucking crossroads, chat. Destiny has two paths for us, and if I choose the wrong one, 8,000 alternate realities and different timelines all get fucking vaporized. I'm not gonna make that mistake. Light goes back on. I can't make that choice. I leave the room. I can make that choice. Lights out. Hello? What the fuck did that door open and close for? People don't move without me giving them the option to. Huh. There was no one in here. I checked the building. This whole floor is empty. The bathroom guy left. No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so, man. Hang on. I'm locking all the doors. We're locking this place down. No more people coming around. We're sealing the fucking gates right now. Locked. Locked. Hide with poop guy. Chat, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm gonna interact with whoever's in that bathroom, I'm gonna be honest. I think that I'm just gonna leave them be, let them do their thing in the darkness. Sorry, uh, whomever's in there. Um, yeah, this is the women's restroom. I'm really just not... I'm not cruising to get more fired than I probably already am for turning off the light on someone currently in the bathroom and then locking up the entire building while they're still taking a shit. Okay? I, I'm not cruising to get double fired. What the fuck is happening over here? What the hell's your... What the fuck was that? Was that deliberate? Was that the sound of someone, like, was that the sound of a massive shit hitting the water? Are you done in there? Should I, like, do you need help? I might, maybe I check on them. Jesus. You're dropping a fucking payload in here. Are you all right? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not getting any response. I'm out of here. I'm just going to go. You have a good one. Elvis POV. Dude. How can you... You can't just say that. You can't, you cannot just, you can't just say that. 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 Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Huh. 
Yeah. Technically, it's not my job to turn that off. I think I actually might get in trouble if I touch it, so, uh... The fluorescent lights are flickering. I need to replace them. Okay. I guess we better get to it. The fluorescent light is about to go out. I have to replace the bulbs. Well, there's someone breathing in my ear right now. So I'm gonna need a minute. I thought I was the security guard, not the fucking janitor. Hey, man. Do you have asthma? Are you okay? It's you again. My boss wants me to finish this work by tomorrow morning. There's no way I could finish all of this. I never thought being a working adult would be this tough. They even told me to clock out on time. They've got to be kidding me. You're the only one who knows how hard I work overtime every day. Seeing you boosts my mood because it means I can go home. So, I guess I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Okay, man. Hey, man, you'll get it all done. You'll be all right. Have a good night. Damn. That's like the most real conversation any character has been able to formulate in a Chilla game. That was just kind of sad. Literally every other character in a Chilla game ever has spoken like some kind of nasty fucking creature or some freak psycho. But like that was just a sad dialogue. Huh. Alright. So wait a minute, if he's gone, and I'm still hearing the spooky breathing and sighing, then that means... Something else is making that sound. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Hello? Oh, frick. That fluorescent bulb frickin' blew up. Well, you know what, whatever. I'll just check for the abnormalities and then seal this place up like a tomb. No ab- But what's it gonna fucking say if there is an abnormality? Like, what is this a tracker for? <laughs> I'm kinda confused. It's just gonna say ghosts in big letters if there's a ghost in the room. Like, I don't really know what I'm actually, like, looking for with this. Fire alarm, ghost alarm. It's like a motion detector because then it would be detecting me. You're just checking the fire alarm. Oh, okay. I guess that does make sense. Yeah, that adds up. I still don't really have a way to fix this. What's up, man? Yo, we're closing. Actually. Damn, it's kind of embarrassing. I walked by that guy like three times, and he's just been like doing that. Well. You have a good night. I haven't replaced the fluorescent lights yet. Uh, well, I mean, like, I don't have a fluorescent light to replace it with. Yo, do you it? Yeah, do we have any fluorescent lights in there? I shove him out of the way. He fucking hits the ground. Oh! He slams to the ground. Get the fuck out of the way! Ugh. Do we keep the fluorescent lights here? I gotta turn the light off. It's, like, crumpled in the corner. What do I do about this? I don't have it. I don't have a fluorescent light. Yeah, I can't even reach it. Do we have spares? I couldn't interact with the thing. Oh, there's an extra room here. That's deeply convenient. I've obtained a fluorescent bulb. 
This isn't my fucking job. Yeah, like, there's gotta be a night janitor or something, right? Like, there's gotta be someone else here that does this part. Alright, well, floor four is done. Let's get the fuck out of here. How many floors are there? Jesus. I thought this was I thought this was like a FNAF like. But it's actually just a go up the elevator and like check on some rooms like, which I, I'm not gonna complain about. This is my kind of literally I play games like this all the time. Just a sedge like, you think? Fifth floor. Is this place seeming more nasty now? It's a little dark on this floor. Let's go check the electrical room. It is a little dark, isn't it? Uh, where's the electrical room? Dude, there ain't even fucking rooms on this floor. What the fuck is going on? I don't like this. The fuse is missing. Well, shit. Your flashlight fucking blows. What the fuck? Chat. It'll be a cold day in hell when an indie developer for a horror game gives you a flashlight that penetrates the advanced darkness of the lighting of the engine they made their game on. Do you understand me? It'll be a cold fucking day in hell. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right! <laughs> Where's that fuse at? Also, am I the only one that thinks it's deeply unsafe to have all the, like, extremely high-power electrical equipment on the... What, actually, would it be safer to have it on the top floor or the bottom floor where more people could reach it quickly to fix a problem? Or safer to have it on the top floor where if it lit on fire, people would have more time to get to the bottom floor and escape? I don't know. I'm not OSHA. The lever won't budge. Looks like there's no power. Let's find the reason. It's because the fuse is missing. We've confirmed this. Also, again, this is not your job. Let's turn the lights on first. This dude really needs to clock when something's not his job. Urgently. Shit's heavy, so basement. Yeah. Yeah, if I was one of the movers for, like, this stuff, I'd be a little annoyed they're making me go to the top floor, I think. I think that kind of pissed me the frick off. Urgently. You guys are sick. He said it! He said it! He said it! Chat? Has always been a spooky red lit door on the end of this here hallway. Cause like last time I checked out uh, when I was using my flashlight, my 12 lumen flashlight into the darkness over there, uh, I saw nothing. Huh. Wow. Huh, wow, what is that, blood? Huh. Wow. What the heck? Dude, aim it now. Here comes Freddy Fazbear. Gonna blast around the- No, it's gonna be- It's gonna be freaking like Foxy or something that jumps out. Something fast in these long hallways, you know? Hello? <laughs> Just here for a fuse. Dude, chat, I didn't really believe it when Chilla said this game would make me go crazy, but I think it's really doing it. This definitely shouldn't be in an office building. It doesn't make any sense. It's making me go insane. Oh, oh, I'm, I can't handle it. Oh wait, I see light over here. This is where we keep the fuses. Right? Yeah? Yeah. My dude has no comments on this so far. And honestly, with how much he's probably paid a night, I wouldn't either. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna- I don't fucking care enough. I just don't care. I don't care. Let me leave. I got what I needed. 
I'm not gonna get yelled at by my boss for this shit tomorrow morning. It's just another Saturday. Or I guess... Actually, yeah. I guess it could be Saturday, technically. What the? Freddy? <laughs> Freddy, was that you? Who was that? Damn, I really wish this fat this flashlight could like fucking penetrate this darkness. Oh, okay. The skinnamarink. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You don't even know what it is you're talking about when you say that. Skinnamarink was real. <laughs> You don't get anything you're even saying. Come back to Earth. Now. What was with that reaction then? Quiet, you. I, I hit the lights. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? There you are. The lights haven't turned on yet, so can you go flip four of the circuit breakers? Me? I'm leaving. Good luck with your job. Jesus. She's got huge hands. What the hell? Don't be rude. Well, maybe she shouldn't sneak up on me in the fucking darkness with no flashlight. That got me skin of <laughs> Come on, chat. Fuck off. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, man. All right, hit the four breakers and then we're out of here. No problem. Two. Three. And this one will get all the power in the entire building working again. Definitely feels like this should all be in the basement, by the way. Come on. Where the hell is it? Where the hell? Huh? What? But there's supposed to be a fourth one. Where? Oh. The light's turned on. Person from earlier must have left. I'll confirm it in the surveillance room on this floor. Okay. Skin of Maroon 5. Mute yourself. Grab your keyboard and unplug it. What's this? Tell us the plot then. I can't, man. Leave me alone. That moment was caught on the surveillance cameras. In a place like this, I can't believe she's... I'm quitting this job. Keiko Ochigi. FNAF! FNAF! Your boyfriend is a security guard, right? Oh, yeah. He's pretty good looking, so I made him mine. Uh, but... Wasn't he dating her before? Yeah, everyone knows that. Well, except for that... 
Wait, so you basically took them by force? That's a terrible way to say it. Well, I basically won him over with my body. Seriously? Anyway, she was no match for me. I'm more charming, so it was inevitable, don't you think? You're a real devil. Women are more popular when they're- uh, Hot, what happened? That dialogue was going so fast. Oh my god, they're running! They're scampering! Uh oh, I think they got stabbed. The heck is that? Hey, trap. I'm on the fifth floor. <laughs> Anyways, didn't they ever made it out of the building? Chad, it's okay. I know. I'm gonna be all right. If anyone even dares come into the security room, I swear to God, I will break their neck. I really do not. Can you spell that? Yeah, let me spell it again. Krach Magach. There you go. Enjoy. I'm gonna have to kill this person. All right. Let's tango. As soon as I... Hello? Hello? I still haven't finished patrolling yet. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that those people down there on the third floor really will have to wait a little bit because I have to, um, make sure this building, like, this room is locked up, so, uh... <laughs> we'll loop around to them, but, like, at the end of the day, their job was to leave at 12. My job is to fucking lock up all the rooms, okay? Bada bing. I'll get down to them when I'm damn well finished with my work. Oh, gotta get the light. Bonk. Gotta get the lights. Bonk. Literally had to do that before I could leave anyways. My guy watched all that security footage and then was just like, eh. Alright, we're done here. <clears throat> Let's go home. Job done. Yeah, I think if I get on this elevator, there's gonna be something behind me. Oh! What the heck? My coffee machine! How the heck did that fall so quietly? I'm gonna get fired for this. I'm the only one that was up here. You know, chat, I almost got a cup of coffee right out of that machine. I could have been freaking pancaked under that thing. You know, like, literally tens of millions of people get crushed by vending machines every day. And most of the time, other people around you don't even, they don't even notice. Skin them a drink. Can someone fucking, can someone fucking grow up and like start posting like some good messages to like, like, like balance out the, the, the absolute trash getting thrown into the chat? Can someone else like, can someone come in and like bring something else to the table? No. He's gonna ask me to blacklist Skinna. No, I'm not. I'm just... I just hate how easy it is. I just hate how- I just hate how easy it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just pisses me off. Skinema, go fuck yourself, tomato. Holy shit. Holy shit! Nice job out there with the, uh... Janitorial work, I do appreciate it. Go down. 
Maybe I just have to use this button. Hang on. Blood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Having a rough night too, huh? Glad it's not just me, Nancy. Glad it's not just me. Holy shit, what the fuck have you been doing up here? Janitorial work has gotten to them bad. I get it though. Stay strong. Jeez. This is freaking insane. Well, technically this place is a bit of a fire hazard, but I mean, that's not really anything that concerns me. I'm more here for the security of the building, not the security of like the people in the building in their process of escaping. These are all metal chairs, so they're not gonna burn that bad. Metal and plastic. So like, it's more of a danger of anyone trying to escape. No abnormality. That is, of course, no abnormality until a couple of seconds ago when someone fucking showed up behind me to freaking stab me 13 times. What? Really? Huh. Huh. Chilla! Subverting my expectations in a major way. That's better. <clears throat> That's much better. Well. Nancy. You know, you could always just work on it tomorrow. No one works on this floor. So, like, really, like, genuinely, get yourself some rest, okay? What the hell is he? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm worried about you, Nancy. I'm just worried about you. Alright, well, uh, you have a good one. Oh, you missed a spot. <laughs> I'm just playing around. I'm just playing around. I locked her radio in. Yeah. Oops. What floor is this? What floor is this? A switch is missing. It might be nearby. Let's look for it. Dude, then if this closes, we're going to be trapped in here. We should go. No one leaves until we solve this. That's what a security guard does. We solve things. No one leaves. All right. So what's your story? <laughs> what's your deal? Are you a puppet? Huh. Well. Chilla gets a new prop and they fucking run with it so hard every time, dude. That got you guys? It didn't get me, but it did make me laugh. It got me in an emotional way. That got me in like an emotionally fulfilling way where I was like, damn, that's fucking funny. Climb. 
Why would I climb? I guess I'll climb. Jesus Christ, you're big. I didn't think you'd be so big. Oh no, I have to ask Google. Dear Google, Google Translate, I need your help now more so than ever. Explain to me what I'm looking at right now with the camera function. Handmade series. Hang on, I'm going to take a picture. Retro Nino. And is that a- does that mean doll? Retro doll, basically. Okay. Dude, you're sitting- one, you have beautiful eyes. Two, why are you sitting on it like that? I'm gonna climb this one. All right, you just keep your head right there. I'm like, I got my full, f oh, there it is. All right, I got one of the buttons. Dude, I feel like I'm an alien or something. All right, thanks, man. All right, you have a good one. Damn, dude. You don't even got real toilets in here. You'll have to poop in the urinal. Damn, man. Yep. That's a urinal moment right there. Oh, shit. Yep. Alright, we got another button. You know one of the bo one of like the retro dolls is gonna be up here, right? Like they're gonna get us. You know one of them's in here. It's only a matter of time. Hmm. Hey. What, uh, what the, what the heck is that there? Is that a, is that a, uh, is that a creature? Nancy? <laughs> Nancy? Yeah, I skin him. I don't like that at all, dude. I really, I really, 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 really don't feel like going down right now. What if we just stay here? I'm going down. It's probably that weirdo that I threatened I'd break the neck of if he ever came near me, which I still stand by. I Again, I know. Oh. Well, I need one more, uh, I need one more button. So I'm going to climb up this one too and grab the last of them. <laughs> hey man, mind if I have that? Thanks. Hey. You know what? I think you're a real cool. You're a real cool guy. I'm sorry that evidently your brand did not take off and you became a forgotten product. I'm sorry about that. You have a good one, man. All right. Well, time to get the hell out of here. What a bunch of little goofballs. All right, let's go. Kiss him. No. The whole gang's here to see me off. <sighs> you guys.
Guys, it really meant a lot how welcoming you all were for me on this floor. But unfortunately, as per Chilla's horrible, horrible prediction and prophecy, I have officially gone insane, cuckoo crazy, and I cannot stay here another second. It's time to skin a muskedaddle. <laughs> Shut Chad, I can't read your fucking messages anymore. Oh! Damn. Dude, Chilla did a real animated scare. That never happens. Damn. That had, like, animation. Anyways. Now we're on the 8th floor. Which means I can finally get that coffee I wanted. Oh. Oh! A coffee right there for me. As soon as I figure out who made those really loud noises. First of all, lights out in the... <laughs> it's not my fault that I couldn't do anything. Because they died, everyone disappeared because of them. I didn't do anything wrong. Everything is their fault. Yo, lights out. Oh God, I have to check. Hello? Whoa! Okay, goodbye. Damn, what is that, a gorilla ghost? Holy shit! Dude, I'm dead. There's not a single way I survived this place. That's a fucking gorilla. There's a goddamn gorilla. Oh my god. Okay, well. Um, turn off the lights here as well. Good. Get the buttons activated. No abnormality. Check. Next room. Not seeing anyone alive in here. No abnormality. Check. How many floors are on this fucking place? Am I almost done? With my climb? Alright, lock it up. Lock it all up. We did a good job here. Lock it up. Lock it up. Get this thing, get this all nice and sealed up now. Why isn't the security guard just leaving forever after the blood and ghosts? Uh, it's my child's seventh birthday tomorrow. And, um, well... Well, yeah, that's important. I'd like to survive to that. I also need money, and in this economy, unfortunately, if I leave early because I had a ghost gorilla slap me pretty bad, I don't think I'm gonna get to keep my job. Mm hmm Three floors remain. The ninth floor is known as the nastiest floor in the entire building. Most people who come up here really just never recover. They go absolutely cuckoo crazy. Anyone in the bathroom today? Nope. Good. Anyone in the bathroom over here today? Nope. Good. Any fire hazards? No. Sorry, man. I'm only going to be able to address you if the game says there's an abnormality. All right. Never mind, then. I'd love to say that that's my problem, but, um... Damn it. Wait, what was that sound? Make that sound again? Oh. 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 Do it again. Oh.
Dude, what's your problem? What's going on with you? Wake up. Oh. Yeah? Oh crap, I fell asleep. It's already this late. What's up with you? You keep coming over and over again. You're standing there every time I wake up. Were you here the whole time? Whatever. Do you, do you know where my boss is? Did he leave already? That damn power harasser said he wouldn't leave until everyone else did. I'm leaving too. Yeah. Wait. That guy just left. And who's making that sound? Oh. I'm locking this room up. I'm sealing this door. Close the whole thing. Anyone in here? Huh. This might be... This might be the most cursed room in the entire building. Is what I would say. If there was anything off about it at all. We actually paid an architect an interior designer eight billion dollars to design this floor. And they said this one would boost employee morale by 18%. Spin-a-ring. Time yourself out. Time yourself out. All right. <laughs> Are we done here? Wait, that door was locked. How'd that guy leave then? Wait, and what the hell is... What the heck is this over here? What the heck? What is this? What's going on? Where am I? Where is this maze taking me? Why is this in my... Well, I pressed that button. Chad, it seems I've gotten myself trapped in some kind of, uh, uh, maze. No, 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 no. What? No. Huh? Oh. Emergency exit key. Well, I know which way I'm going to leave. The elevator and me have... Hello. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Literally backed down, couldn't take the heat, actually got out of my way when I stepped up. Dude, more people need to try that with monsters and ghosts and horror movies and games is just step up and see if they go, oh shit, and like actually just get out of there because a lot of them are all talk. And now we go, I guess, upstairs. My, guy, my guy's really hell-bent on... Yep, this is, uh, we actually paid that architect and interior designer another eight million dollars. Not, not six billion, but another eight million to do this one too. Uh, most of the budget was glue. They said this would add a new dynamic and perspective to the employees of the company. And luckily, there are no abnormalities on this floor. Get that locked up. Yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty big bummer. Like, there are some poor bastards that actually work on that floor, like this floor, every day. Like, they wake up and they go to the upside down floor. That is where their division is. That's, that's their whole life. I know a guy who's been working on this floor for 10 years. 
and I'm just going to say it, he is not well adjusted to the outside world anymore. He walks outside and he looks up at this guy and he just starts crying. He just starts crying and then he starts grabbing onto the grass like he's going to fall. He starts crying and screaming. He does that every day. He'll like dive for the nearest tree to grab and he'll just like, he'll start going, please, please, no. And it's the whole time. But he keeps on coming back to work. All right. Upwards. I'm locked back in. Cool. I guess I'll take the elevator. I don't fucking trust it. You think I'm an idiot? All right. What floor are we on? Floor 10? There's only one floor remaining on the entire building. Floor 11. I meant to say floor negative 11. Oh, ew, what the fuck was that sound? <laughs> That's how you know the letters are evil when they wiggle. Yep, that's... Man, right there, just lock it in, dude. That there's some evil cursed text right there. Mm-hmm. Nancy's gotta come down here. It's stat. This place is a goddamn mess. And what the heck is that? Shodan? <laughs> Shodan, what the fuck? Is that you? What's happening? Hello. <clears throat> okay. Oh my god. I've been given two options in my life. Either proceed down the spooky hallway with the ghost who has really honestly shown their hand as really not much of a threat to me, or B, I go back home. Whenever these Chilla games are like, you have two fucking endings, I always have to assume that the real second ending was only going to be activated if I, like, clicked on, like, a fucking quarter in my goddamn house. Like, there was a quarter on the table, and if I didn't take that, I would be unable to progress to the good ending. And I think I missed the quarter, so I was unable to buy the coffee that I would eventually throw into the monster's face, stunning it long enough for me to leave. So I'm dead, unfortunately. Hello? Hello? Believe it or not, I still have to finish my fucking job. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. What, are you kidding me? Uh, I got it. Obtained blood-stained lid. I think I should be able to clean this stain. My dude is still just trying to do his job. Good God. Should be able to fucking clean this up, no problem. Okay, and... Well, I'm not gonna... Oh, it's over. We lose. 
Hang on, I'm just gonna double back. I wanna clean the stain before I do anything else. I washed the blood off the lid. There are two lines drawn on it. Okay, I'm gonna take that back to the clock before I fuck with anything in that room, because this might get me the good ending. This is it, chat. Everything we've been building up for is I got I got lost actually walking down a hallway. Okay, here we go. Everything we've been building up for. Sorry, what the fuck is that? What? 90, 60. I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be the combo? Zero, 30, 60, not, this means not, I guess, not, just kill me already, <laughs> just, just go ahead, ghost, take my life, go ahead, take my life, kill me, kill me, and my life. I did it. Or maybe it wants it like this. Oh no, that doesn't even add up at all. I guess I can, I guess, oh my God, you can't like, it. that mouse is really bad for this. But technically it would be that, yes, that would be the 60, that'd be the 90. He's going insane. This is the weirdest thing I've ever had to do visually in my life. What exactly does it- What exactly does Chilla want from me? Right now? Short line 90, long line 60. So 90 should be on the interior, 60 should be on the exterior. And I'm gonna assume they still need to be in the same position. Good God, Chilla's really trying to make me go insane in the membrane, dude. He's trying to actually make me go cuckoo. Holy crap. Is that a nine? No, that's a 60. Right there. That's a 60. And now? 90. The fact that nothing happened is really pissing me off. Is, the, is it because the 60 is slightly off? God! He really is a puzzle lit. The red on top. Yeah, chat, I fucking know the red on top, but like, this fucking display that Chilla's doing for this thing makes it impossible for me to actually fucking... Yeah, of course, okay. Wait, nope, I didn't even do it. I thought it took it for a second. It did not take it. Wait, I remembered something. I never get the true ending of these games because Chilla always makes them really annoying. Oh no, I have to, this isn't the true ending. This is just the normal progression. That's not 60, lol. Yeah, Katie, can you give me the answers? Cause chat's just uh, being really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just give me the answer? Uh, cause I don't want to deal with chat. Thank you. 90 inner circle, 60 outer circle. What, so am I just supposed to align it with the fucking, with this part? So stupid. What's, what the fuck is the point of the entire display over there showing the clock thing to begin with? Why even bother, like, doing it like that? Why even do any of it like that. Why incorporate a clock for the answer if it has no bearing at all in the entire format of the actual dial? That's that's the thing I got stuck on was the fact that it's showing a clock format. So if I, I'm like thinking, oh, I got to keep it on the right angle. There's something with that. It's just like pointlessly. It, it literally wasn't even anything in there. No, let me just open it and close it again. Oh, mega lull, dude. Oh, mega lull. Oh, mega lull.
Did I get something and I just didn't even notice because I was mad at chat? I got a VHS tape. Dude, at this point, I like, I'm looking at chat and I'm just mashing left click. Because just like the title claimed, I'm going psycho cuckoo crazy. And the game is breaking me. I still need like a wire. I'm running out of strength. I'm running out of strength, Chad. I need it. I need power. I need people to channel their power to me. I need them to channel their power to me with gifted subscriptions and money. That's the only thing that really empowers me is money. Cold hard cash. Stationary, please. Please, God, please. I actually am missing one of the things I need. I think it's in this spooky locker. Dude! Hell yeah! What are you so excited about? Thanks. Good night. Alexander, thanks for the gift itself. That gave me some power. Imagine going through all that trouble so you can watch the ring tape. <laughs> Dude, this is a cool skin of a rink angle. Venomous Blossom, thanks for the five gifted subs. This is literally a skin of a rink moment. Yep, no, this is a. This is a classic Skinner stink moment right now. Dude, you literally could trick me into thinking that this was part of that movie right now. You actually could. You could trick me. And you thought it was good? Yeah, it was great. It was like a it was like a very it was extremely liminal. Which I mean, chat, I play those kinds of games all the time. <laughs> Hello? No, nice. there would there would never be a shot that focused on a single person and like centered. I can't stay here anymore. It took you this long. Now. Now they can't stay here anymore. That's the limit. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my oh my god. Goodbye. Oh! Oh! Bye. Oh! Ugh. I think I fell down the stairs. Sometimes when one of these chilla games ends, people yell, that's it? That's custom. That's custom. That's the that's the tradition. Is to yell, that's it? What just happened? You wouldn't get it. That was normal. You wouldn't get it. I got it. And honestly, chat.
That one was average. But it was definitely not the worst. But it was definitely not the best. It was just a chilla game. Which means we are still one step closer to the curse. The Chilla game about streamers where Chilla channels an actual curse to every streamer that's ever wronged them, myself included. It's inbound, and I worry deeply for my career and the career of those around me when that day comes. I really do. Into the Chillaverse. Chilla Marink. That was a reach, dude. That was a reach, chat. That was a reach. I didn't hate that one. Um. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck? Well, that was ending one. Was ending two. Chad, is ending two just that I don't fucking, uh, run into the stairwell? Yeah, you can tell me. While this ending cutscene plays. You missed the quarter. That's what I assumed. I mean, I, if it lets me continue from the top floor, fucking hell. You DM'd me. Okay, let me see. Open the door, run back. Go to the door in the far corner past the TV. Look right to the end of the hall at the wall with the keypad and drawing. Enter 1023, run to elevator 11. So I have to do the whole 11th floor again to do this, which... Uh, fortunately, I know the combination for the stuff for. So I'm going to open the door, run back, go to the door in the far corner past the TV, which I did, and I saw what I was supposed to punch in. I just didn't do it. Was it 60 on the outside and then 90 on the inside? Unfortunately, I think I have to watch the whole fucking TV display again. Which is the real crime of all of this. Okay, everyone, get ready. Get ready. I watched like two hours of this movie, so I can handle Skinamarink. Okay, I can handle Skinamarink. Hang on, I can actually do some, like, recreations of, like, dialogue from that movie while I'm here. Mommy? 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 I'm hungry. Mom! Where's the windows? Well, no, it's not working, dude. For some reason, dude, that's not working, dude. I can't play Minecraft, dude. I think we're being skinned wrong, dude. Dude, this is skin a cringe, my guy. Holy shit, dude. Mom. Mom. I need juice. Get me juice, please. Help. I'm gonna play with my Legos for the next six hours of the movie. Do not bother me. I st huh? I can't stay here anymore. Let's get out of here. All right, we gotta do this by the books and correctly. What's the number? 1023.
Okay, bye bye. Wow, that was really easy. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, huh? Oh no. Try to think about how big the fucking. Oh god, the. T oh no. I don't have any Skinner insurance, dude. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I can't afford this. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Wow. Yeah, usually the second endings of Chilla's games are just objectively worse than the normal base endings. Usually, usually that's how it's played out. That's it? There you go. Now you're getting it. <laughs> now you're finally getting it. Now you're finally getting it. There it is. Everyone now. That's it. I paid seven dollars for that. Damn you, Chilla. You just keep getting away with it every time. Damn you. you keep pushing me. Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! But anyways, the next time you make a game, you know I'm gonna play it. You know every time. I'm right here with you, man. I would never abandon you, Chilla. You're like my best friend. Hell yeah. The dynamic we have? Wildly parasocial. Super unhealthy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tomato is Chilla's adoring fan. I could never, ever, ever hate them. Chat. I'm so tired. In like a, like a mental, like my mental fortitude is low. My strength is waning. The intro today wounded me. I carry a wound in my very soul that I may never recover from up until tomorrow when I stream again. And, um, I'm sorry about that. I went insane just like Chilla said I would. I lost it. I experienced psychic damage. Why can he apologize to chat so easy? No comment. Leave a review now. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Thanks everyone for the donations, gifted subs, bits, etc. I appreciate it as always. It's very kind of you. It really is. Chilla's done done it again, and next time they done do it again, I'll be there to freaking play it again I like this one I didn't hate it I definitely didn't hate it there are much worse ones there are much worse ones I think the more closely contained stuff like this ones like this one actually lands way better than like the ones that are way larger scale this one was much more like focused on one thing it's not bad it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But yeah, the next uh, stream will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST. So keep your eyes peeled. Should be a good time. Really should be. Ought to be a good time. That's for sure. And I'll see all of you there. Unless you're like not going to watch that stream, which would, I mean, honestly, do whatever you got to do out there. I get it. It's whatever.
Thank you, Tomato, for making my day. Thanks. Real chat member that said that? That was nice of you to say. And you're not a paid chat member. You're real. Shillamarink. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop! I've had enough of this. Damn, man. What the fuck? You created this monster. 99% of you that are talking and doing that bit will never watch that movie and have never watched that movie. And that's the wildest part of all this is you'll never know the things I've seen. You'll never know the things I've seen. And also, simultaneously, if you asked me if I could tell you why the movie was called that to begin with, I wouldn't be able to answer. I don't know. There wasn't any moment where, like, one of the kids on the camera went like, Dude, I think that's the freaking skin of a rink. That doesn't happen. It's yeah, it's kind of like that Cloverfield situation where like no one's like holy shit, that's Cloverfield. Oh my god. Yo, that's them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you recommend watching? I don't think it's possible to recommend someone watches Skin of Rink. It's either you watch it and choose to accept that you may lose 2 hours of your life or enjoy 2 hours of watching something weird. It's really hard to recommend that movie to someone. That's the Cloverfield. All right. <laughs> I'm out of here. Chat, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for coming on by. I'll catch you later. See you.